So Notion have a brand new block in their arsenal. Inside of the slash command menu, you can find the new sync block, which allows you to do basically like a live preview of your original block and allows you to edit the original one as well. In this video, I'm gonna show you how it works and a little bit about how it could be useful when you're using it to, for example, script or write or even reference something in work. Before we begin, today's video is sponsored by TaskAid. You can check out a discount to TaskAid below and much more about them later in this video. So Notion, as I said, have this new sync block. Now you can access this through the slash command menu. And basically if you were to create a sync block from scratch, you can start typing away. And what you can do is naturally that block is what's called sort of like live. So basically, if you were to copy that and paste it into a different area of your Notion, whatever you shared or added to the original block, uh, it basically will be replicated in live format here. Um, so that's really cool. Um, it means that you could, for example, if you were revising and you wanted to have different pages for the majority of your revision notes or, or maybe even uh, some of the key things you're learning in another page um, previewed onto one of the pages you're working on, that's something you could now have inside of Notion. So this new sync block is a really cool addition. I can see a bit of it being used in templates as well as a way to, for example, database templates. It's a way to bring in information fast. Um, maybe you wanted to bring in a to-do list um, that you may have written up pretty simply. Now, the difference between this and a linked database is, is quite clear. Databases are their own sort of like spreadsheets um, that obviously are, could go into a variety of different views, but with linked blocks or the synced blocks, blocks, um, you can bring in text, which might be particularly useful for writers uh, and people who want to uh, express updated information. I can see teams using this to update their figures on their home pages, and sync blocks could save a lot of time when it comes to modifying information without actually having to necessarily go back to the original source or being able to reference it uh, from another area inside of your Notion. So really cool addition. Um, there's been some great videos to outline how this can be used uh, in much more detail. Uh, one that I want to highlight in particular is one by Alex Sherwood, who dives into um, on a Notioneer about five ways that you can use it, and he he reaches into a, a lot more detail than I do. But an exciting addition, especially because uh, Rome and Obsidian have a feature that's sort of like this. I don't want to compare it to block references but at the same time, it's Notion to take on it. And I think it's a nice one. I think it's uh, going to help a lot of people uh, with referencing information. So folks, a nice little tweak by Notion, um, and hopefully this overview gave uh, it a little bit more information uh, for you to get started. Anyway, folks, um, thank you very much. Make sure to check out TaskAid. Here's a little bit more about them before we go. But before we go, make sure to subscribe and talk to you soon. This month here on Keep Productive, we're sponsored by TaskAid. TaskAid is an all-in-one collaboration tool for working faster, smarter, and together. I followed their journey since the early days and I've been impressed with their product that they've built. TaskAid isn't just for your task, it helps you manage projects with a range of views. They collaborate together in real time, even through video. You can use templates and workspaces to create your own notes, documents, mind maps, and much more. So you can change a collaborative task list into a mind map by click of a button. TaskAid is used by small to medium-sized teams for working together, but it's also a favorite amongst personal users thanks to the flexibility of the tool, allowing you to create everything from a bujo to a powerful to-do list. Each project as well supports chat and video conferencing too. You can get TaskAid below for free, available on all of your devices, and for teams, pricing plans start at $5 per user per month. Thanks again to TaskAid for coming on as a sponsor.